is beautiful and your eyes are like the stars your gentle hands of healing there inside the scars your loving arms they draw me near and your smile it brings me peace draw me closer oh my Captain. 
face Let every chain be broken from me As I'm bound in your grace For your yoke is easy Your burden is light You're full of wisdom, power and might And every eye will see you Captivate us, Lord Jesus Set our eyes on you Devastate us with your presence Falling down Rushing river draws near Holy fountain consume us with you
nothing more beautiful than the love that you have for us. God, we are here fully engaged and ready to love on you and to confess with our lips and our hearts, God, that we love you. We pour out our love on you, God, and that truly your love satisfies us more than enough. Souls fully satisfied in you, God. And we won't hold back any longer in pouring out our everything on you. You deserve everything that we have. You deserve the love that we have in our hearts, God. You deserve our full attention, our full devotion to you. up to Psalm 16 verse 5 to 6. We're meditating on the book of Psalm chapter 16 
verse 5 to 6. During this time, feel, uh, feel free to either sing along or to pray, to journal or soak. Meditate deeply on this word today. After we are done with this section, we will continue today's watch with a time of intercession. But once again, the passage we will be going through is Psalm 16, verse 5 to 6.
let go of everything that gets in the way. chosen portion more than
portion. Circumstances may come and go, ministry may come and go, work may come and go, but I will choose my portion in you, I will choose my portion in
just when I thought that my heart it would faint you take the darkest night and you turn it to shining light just when I thought that the night had won you make my
cross, accused in absence of wrong, my sin washed away in your blood, too much to make sense of it all. ourselves to you, God, more and more, as you pour out more of you into us, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your presence. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we're going to shift gear and go into a time of intercession. We'll be praying for uh, Korea. 
So just to give you guys a little um, update on what's been happening on Monday, March 31st, North and South Korea fired hundreds of artillery shells into each other's waters a day after North Korea warned it was preparing to test another nuclear device. Uh, the exchange of fire into the Yellow Sea followed Pyongyang's sudden announcement that it would conduct live fire drills in seven areas north of the Korea's um, disputed seaside boundary. But North Korea routinely tests fires, artillery, and, and missiles into the ocean, but rarely discloses those plans in advance. And the announcement was seen as an expression of Pyong Pyongyang's frustration at making little progress in its recent push to win outside aid. Um, so although they were not shooting directly at each other, tension was rising high because Korean Peninsula still remains in a technical state of war. So with that said, we will now begin interceding for the Korean Peninsula. So as I make intercession, you can follow along with prayers of your own afterwards. Father, you've always shown your goodness and faithfulness to your people by warning them of times of war and protecting, giving them the strength to endure and overcome all things. But Lord, we confess that there are so much unbelief in our hearts still, and we don't know how to respond in times like this, Lord. Forgive us of our unbelief and release greater faith over your church, God. Holy Spirit, we ask that you inspire the church to uh, raise up their voice and rise up as co-laborer of your kingdom. We declare that there shall be an upsurge of intercessors rising up in this nation. They shall pray day and night, respond not with fear but with faith. Declare your relentless love over the peninsula and claim this land to be yours, God. Pour out faith over the church, Lord. We need you. We need you to fill us with faith. We understand that the only way to move heaven is faith, God. We want to be people who move by faith, not by sight. So give us faith, Lord. Give us faith to believe. Let's pray.
awaken the watchmen. Raise up your watchmen. Raise up the watchmen. Raise up your watchmen. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. And you are calling your children to rise up and take up the positions of authority at such time as this, where tensions rising, fears creeping in on all sides. But Lord, we respond in faith and war against this trespass right now, God. We declare the establishment of your throne in this peninsula today and come against all the schemes of the enemy that oppose peace in the land. We dismantle all missiles, artilleries, and weapons of war in Jesus' name. We ask that you put an end to all irrational threats of North Korea, which stems out of fear. We lift up our voice and send over spiritual bullets and missiles, mighty legions of angels over the enemy's crying right now, God. We respond in faith and will not just watch this happen before our eyes. We say not on our guard with the plans of the enemy prevail. We declare all its works to steal, kill, and destroy. Fall to the ground in Jesus' name. Let's pray. God with the enemy under your feet. Lord, we stand with the Prince of Peace right now and ask the Holy Spirit break in and bring peace into every part of this land, every heart of men in this nation. As you brought inexplicable peace into our lives, 
we ask that you multiply and release your shalom over this peninsula lord we see that fear has been causing much trouble much chaos and disorder in this land we uproot all fear which causes us to believe in the lies of the enemy we ask that you fill this land with your peace which surpasses all understanding which guards our hearts and minds in christ jesus but we declare the prince of peace is entering in breaking into all that the enemy has built setting every heart free to taste and see the goodness of god and to burn for him alone holy spirit break in and release peace holy spirit we ask you break in let's pray your grace your love and by what you've done on the cross God we have been awakened to who we are uh, who we were created to be and to who you are things began to change and shift when we were awakened to see you God so Jesus we declare you are the solution the answer to all these things because you are our everything we know that you are the key to all the breakthroughs this nation needs because it has been the desire of your heart from the beginning of time to see this nation thrive as one. So we ask the Holy Spirit, Spirit of Revelation, to come upon this peninsula and awaken every heart. We commend all hearts to awaken and see that Jesus is the Lord. We pray that your will be done swiftly in this land, God. We believe and trust that you are the key to reunification in this peninsula. You will bring north and south together. You will do it in the most perfect timing because this nation belongs to you, God. You reign. You are the Lord. Jesus, you are the answer. Yet, let's pray.
Father, we come out of this time of intercession, not just finishing up our prayers, God, but Lord, we, we continue on with thanksgiving for what you are about to do in this nation. God, we put our trust in you, that you will indeed do the things that you said you will do, God, that, that truly, Lord, what you've spoken over this, this nation is true. It's to come, God. So we put our trust and faith in you, God. And we just um, lift up, especially the leaders of this nation, God, that you pour out wisdom upon President Park Geun-hye. Lord, that, that you would give her the heavenly wisdom, God, to deal with the current situation in the best way, God, in the most uh, peacemaking way possible, Lord. And we ask, Lord, that you pour out your spirit upon her, God. And Lord, we thank you, God, that truly you are the answer, God, that there's no other way but Jesus. You are the way, the truth, and the life for this nation. So we speak forth who you are, your name, the power of your name upon this peninsula, God. But Jesus, there really isn't any other way, so we put all of our hope in you. Jesus, you are our hope, our everlasting hope. God, we declare that North Korea shall no longer be isolated, closed off, shaking in fear, and reacting irrationally to all this fear, God. And we declare your peace cover the land right now. Your shalom cover every part of this nation, the north and the south, God. And Lord, that in that place, Lord, we will work things out according to your will, according to your plan, Father God, according to your timing to bring these two Koreas together as one. Restore the, this land, God. Restore all that the enemy tried to take away, tried to rob this nation from, the glory that it tried to rob. Father, restore the glory. Restore the glory of this land, God. We lift up this nation to you this morning. And Father, we declare your will be done here in this nation as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll now uh, go into time of free prayer. Um, everyone minus the keyboardist. Um, you guys can uh, get into groups of two or three and share your personal prayer requests to each other and pray for one another. And you can uh, spend the remaining time to pray on your own.
those who call upon your name. God, you never fail to answer. You never fail to provide. You never fail to listen. Pray, God, that as we go deeper and deeper into your presence with every week, with every day, pray that your voice would grow louder and louder, Lord God, in our ears and our hearts. Pray that you would tune our hearts, tune our spirit, Lord God, to hear and to respond to you first and foremost. Lord God, that we would be able to crowd out every other voice that God that speaks into our lives. We'd be able to hear you, Lord, with newfound clarity. Respond quicker and quicker, Lord God, with every time. That we wouldn't be a people, Lord God, that have no ears to hear, that have no eyes to see, Lord. But we would be ones, Lord God, that would be found waiting and alert, Lord God, for your word and for you. We thank you, God, for this time that you give us to just simply come before you. so distracted. 